Welcome back to the Culture Shock. In Proverbs 23, verse 9, it says, Do not waste your breath on fools, for they will despise the wise advice. But what this is saying to me for this video is that we should not be giving our wisdom just to everybody. There are going to be people who listen to us that take our wisdom. You may have kids. You may have friends that you're wiser than in some areas of your life. But you might be trying to explain to them stuff that they don't want to hear. But we shouldn't be this speaking to them. If you're in football, you'll know that you want to speak to football teams because they'll want to hear your wisdom on how to win, what to do, how to become a better football player. You don't want to be talking to football players coming from a baseball point of view. But you want to listen to or you want to speak to the wise or to the people who are educ or who want to learn more who are willing to take your advice maybe that's on financial wisdom maybe that's on physical fitness maybe that's on relationship advice how to be a better husband maybe you have kids that don't want to listen right now that's not your time. Don't waste your breath. You should still talk to them on different areas of their life. Like maybe they're 8 years old. You don't want to explain to them on relationships right then and there. I mean, it's better to show them on that one. But like maybe your finances. You don't want to talk to your 6-year-old about finances. Maybe when they get older. Because they will despise the wise advice. That happened to me so many times in my life. My dad tried to explain to me a lot of things that I did not want to hear at that point. Now, I'm basically an open ear. Because I want to get more wisdom. I want to learn more. So, if he was just to talk and talk and talk when I wasn't listening, that's what that scripture is saying to me. That don't speak to the people that don't want to hear what you got to say. This could be in all aspects of life. Maybe your co-workers don't want to hear your problems don't waste your breath on people that don't matter maybe you go to a certain place in your town where you spill all your problems to you don't have to waste your breath telling everybody about your problem tell the people who care the people who will pray for you. The people who love you. And the people that will give you the best decision that they can offer. Don't just be shooting off at the mouth to everybody. I know a lot of people do that. They get pissed off. And... They start talking to everybody, letting everyone know how they feel. How, why they're so angered. But we don't need to waste our breath. A lot of times, when I have problems, I only probably tell one or two people. The rest, I don't even waste my breath because they have their own lives. They don't really care about how I feel, probably. Or they're just going to give me a general answer 
or sometimes I can't trust them because they might go around talking to other people about my problem. There was a movie, Crocodile Dundee. They, uh, the guy, Mick Dundee, he says, we tell Walter and Walter tells everybody. And that's why they don't really sometimes like to talk to the guy, Walter. But, we don't want to just be that person that just tells one person and they tell everybody about the problem. It's out in the public. Maybe it's something personal. So we should be selective of who we talk to or who we give our wisdom to or when to give our wisdom to. Maybe you're giving your teenage kid advice at a teenage age maybe they're not open to it then maybe you should wait until they're in their 20s when they had some problems but we should not just be uh, letting our wisdom go sometimes or just wasting our breath talking to everybody because like it says they will despise the wise advice. I uh, spoke to a lot of people, relationship stuff. Women would do something, get back with a former relationship that they were with. And the guy would treat them like crap. And I would give them things that they could do. But then they would go back to that person again and it would just go in a whole routine. So after a while, I said, I'm not going to waste my breath telling everybody. Some women thought that was mean to say. But this scripture applies here as well. You don't have to tell everyone your wisdom, guys. Only give it to the people that will listen. Take your word and run with it and impact the world or, well, just impact their lives. Maybe you will help one person and that's better than nothing. But don't just be wasting your breath, giving your wisdom to everybody. That will lead to less problems with you and your relationships. That way you're not constantly angry saying, oh, no one ever listens to me. I'm never going to give them advice. No, just give selected people wisdom. People who are truly open to your wisdom. That even comes to when you talk to someone. Maybe you're going through something. Maybe there's only maybe one or two people you trust that you know that will keep your secrets. Maybe only those two people you tell. But you don't have to spout off and tell everybody about your problem. That's why people see me like a robot, a machine, a cyborg because I don't really tell, talk to that many people about my problems and if I do it's trusted people maybe ask them to pray for me with something I'm going through but I don't tell everybody because this is a waste of time I only tell trusted individuals so I hope you learned something from this advice that we should never just go off telling everybody how we feel, our thoughts, our wisdom, but that we should be selective of who we tell, who we talk to, who we share these information with. But if this video was helpful, then give it a thumbs up. And everybody, this is the Culture Shock. I'm MR3. And everybody, have a blessed day.